Hey guys, it's Alex with Paragon Performance. Today we're gonna to be installing the Varus Engineering front splitter kit for the C8 Corvette. This is going to be a chassis mounted front splitter. The splitter is made from a carbon poly weave, which is gonna be lightweight and durable. Also, you have two options on the air dam here. You will be able to get it in a carbon fiber or a black powder coated aluminum. Let's get to the install. First thing we're gonna do is raise and support your vehicle. All right, so we're gonna start here by removing this factory front lip. You've got 21 T15 screws around the outside. Let's get all those pulled out. Now that we've got the front lip removed, we actually need to remove this panel here under the nose. We're gonna have a few T15s around the outside on both sides, and then a few seven millimeter ones across as well. And to make it a little bit easier to get this panel out, you can remove some of these other T15s down the, down the middle here as well. Just kind of pop all of those down. I'll allow you to slide this out. Now we're gonna to wanna to hang onto this because we will need to trim this piece in a little bit. All right, so Vera supplies a couple templates for us. We're gonna have a driver's side and passenger side here of where, to, where and how to cut the plastic panel for the brackets, as well as a driver's side and passenger side template on where to drill the holes to install the rib nets to support the bracket. You're gonna to wanna to take and cut these out so you can place them in in place and line up with the specified locations. And then you will uh, mark out what you need to cut or drill and drill and cut them out. Now we've got our templates cut out here, drill the holes in the crash support. These are gonna have a couple different marks. Um, you're gonna have the holes out here. They are labeled driver side and passenger side for you. You're gonna have your outer holes shown here where you're gonna drill. These ones in the center are actually going to overlap each other. You've got a small hole in the crash support, and then you've got a stud that sticks down through that this template needs to line up with. When you go to actually install them, they will need to be set on the car with the printed side facing up against the crash support. So go ahead while you have them out and mark out on the back side of these for you so you can transfer that where you need to drill the hole and center punch. Uh, let's get these uh, holes drilled. All right, so here's the stud that we were talking about. This is the small hole that we were talking about. You're going to take your template and you're gonna align the bigger lineup hole on the stud and the smaller one with the hole in the crash bar. I have pre-cut these holes, so I'll be able to just kind of slide them up and over. And then I pre-cut the back side of these and then I'll take my center punch and mark where everything needs to be. And then we'll repeat the same process for this other side. So now that we've got our center punched marks, I'm gonna take a smaller drill bit, drill our pilot holes for all four holes, and then come back in with a 3 8 drill bit and drill them out to the correct size. Now that we've got our four holes drilled, we're gonna install the rib nuts. All right, so now we're going to install the supplied rib nuts, the Varus is supplied. They do also supply a tool to install these. Here's how to use that tool. You have a nut with a serrated edge on it. That is gonna go against the rib nut. You're gonna install the supplied Allen through it and thread it into the nut until it stops. Now using a 9 16 wrench and a five millimeter Allen, you're going to hold that nut in place and keep the rib nut seated all the way in the body. And you are gonna just tighten this Allen down. I do not recommend putting power tools to this to do it all by hand. 
You can use a ratchet on the Allen if you would like. Now that we've gotten this tightened into place here, you're just gonna unscrew the Allen. Or if you have one of the Rivnut install tools, you can use that as well. All right, so we've got our templates cut out that were provided. I have marked them driver side and passenger side here. Just because after you cut them out, you can't tell. Once you've removed the panel, lay it on the ground in the way that you took it off. So these fins should be pointing up. That's how these will actually set. They'll sit on there just like so. I'm actually gonna flip the panel over so you can weigh the templates on the smooth side. But just for reference, that's how that ends up. Now I'm gonna switch them. We're gonna flip the panel. Okay and then we're gonna install the templates. So on the templates, you've got this small raised up portion here in the center. That's actually gonna line up right here with our templates, both of them. And then you're gonna line these little ovals up with the approximate of where those holes are at. And then we're actually gonna cut out this portion here. So I'm just gonna take a, a marker and just kind of draw a line. You can tape these down too if you would like. It's probably a little hard to see. We've got them marked out here. You can use whatever your method of choice is to drill these out. I have a body saw or a small small sawzall, so I'll just drill a hole in here, cut them out with that. Just keep in mind you have ribbing on the back side that you will have to cut through as well. All right, so we've got all the brackets here laid out. You're going to have obviously several different pieces. You've got a short piece of square tube, a long piece of square tube. You have the two big main brackets. You'll have a small support bracket and two other small, I guess, feet support bracket. And then you have these other two mounting brackets as well. They all, they all will bolt together. As far as layout goes, when you look at these square tubing, if you notice there will be riv nuts installed, we need to point those down for right now. This is how it will sit on the car. And we're gonna assemble part of this as it sits right here on the bench. So on our bracket here, we're gonna start here with the main support. These smaller feet are gonna go out clear to the outside edge, two holes on both, both sides. The smaller I-shaped bracket is gonna go directly in the center, as well as directly in the center on this front support bracket. If you notice, you have two sets of wider spread out bolts. These brackets are actually, the main bracket is actually gonna set on the top here. And you're gonna have through bolts through the, through the bracket and this cross support, as well as from the bottom up. We will assemble all of these portions of the brackets now. We will assemble the uprights to this on the car. You're gonna use the long supplied Allen bolts with a washer and we're gonna just pass them through and install a nut on the back side. The direction you put those in there really isn't that important, whatever way is convenient for you. But I'm going to just loosely install everything together for now. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a four millimeter Allen wrench. We've got the main structure here assembled. We're gonna go over one more point. When these actually get installed onto the car, 
you have two of these brackets. And if you notice there is a bend in it, you will install it so that bend is pointed down and it will actually go on this outboard mounting hole of the main upright support. Those will be installed when you actually install this to that uprighted support. So we've got the various main brackets here. There is no side orientation to these. However, we do wanna make sure that the Varus logo is readable and pointed forward. We're gonna use the four millimeter medium length Allen bolt with the small washer. And they're gonna pass through the holes here in the top of the bracket into the rib nuts that we installed earlier. We're gonna grab a four millimeter Allen on a long extension here and reach up in and tighten these mounting bracket bolts down. Now that we've got those installed, we're gonna install that plastic panel that we cut earlier. Now we're gonna put the screws back in these plastic panels. We've got T15s on these two outer ones that we're gonna all reinstall. And then we would have seven millimeter ones in here. Keeping in mind, we do have a bracket that comes off of here and into this one as well. So we'll leave that one out for right this minute. And then we will not put any of the ones that go back into the, where the front lip area was yet. Okay, so this is gonna be the carbon fiber one. The aluminum version is very similar. The biggest difference being the aluminum one is a two piece, not a three piece. Both have a joining point together. They both will take U-clips on the bottom to fix the splitter to it. With that being said, you have a flat surface and then you have another surface that has dimpled in sections. These dimpled in sections will actually be pointed down at the ground and you will have these clip-on nuts that will actually be installed in there and you'll need to keep in mind which way you put them on there as when they're installed, you will need to actually be able to install the bolt in from the bottom side. So this threaded portion, you will want to be pointing up and you'll do that for all of these holes in all of the three different pieces. And then you also have some small Allen bolts, a nut and a washer. It's a seven millimeter socket for the nut, a two and a half millimeter Allen for the screw. And those are gonna join through the holes in the ends of these and join the three pieces together. Be careful tightening them down because it is carbon fiber and you can you can damage it by over tightening it. So let's get to, get this put together and ready to be put on the car. We're gonna do screw, washer, install it through, and then another washer and the nylock nut. Okay, and then when you go to actually tighten the bolts down, you do want to be very mindful as you want to line these up as best you can now because you won't be able to get to them super well once they're, everything's assembled and just get your gap and your fitment together really well while you're, while you're doing this off the car. Now that we've got this lip all prepped and ready, we're going to reinstall it using all the OEM screws that we took out of the factory with. Just loosely install them for now, of course. All right, so now we're gonna take this main bracket here and attach it to the supports that we attached previously. These will set just inside of this carbon fiber lip, and then you're gonna have the bolts that pass clear through, nut, bolt, and washer that go through here on either side, and then we're gonna have the ones that go through the top, keeping in mind that we do have another bracket that comes down and we'll be using this bolt hole as well. So. Let me grab some bolts here and we'll get those loosely installed. Okay, 
Now we're gonna grab the medium length ones here. And these will actually go up through with a nut on the top. We're gonna start this bolt up through this outboard bracket here. Like I said before, we have these two other brackets and we need to make sure that the curve is gonna be curved down towards the ground. We're gonna slip that over the top up here and then install the nut. We'll leave those loose again, just like all the other brackets for this so far and repeat the same thing for the other side. And you're gonna take the two remaining seven millimeter headed bolts you have left and reinstall them back into here. And then we can go ahead and tighten down all these bolts. All right, so we have the Vera splitter here. It is a two-piece design. This is what they call a zipper fit. I'll show you how to put that together here in just a second. We're gonna start here. We need to finish drilling out the holes to install the splitter veins. These are already threaded holes. And you have six pairs of holes here across the splitter that you need to drill out. You'll need to use a 3 16 drill bit. I'll show you how to install these completely in just a minute. We're gonna do the zipper portion here and you will just take and lay these one over the top of the other like so. Just try to line it up as best as you can. And then you will take a small dead blow mallet and you will just kind of tap these together. Now that we've got these holes drilled out, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna peel off this backing paper that they've put on here. So we're gonna take our four millimeter Allen. We're gonna locate where these are gonna go through at and we're gonna install it through like so. We're gonna take our vein. They're gonna sit on here just like so. So the smaller end of it points down basically. And these are threaded and we're just gonna snug these down. We have the various splitter prep for install. Every one of these spots that have an embossed hole is gonna get a four millimeter Allen headed bolt with the large washer. And that is gonna go into any of these holes that we talked about before that have rib nuts already installed into this bracket. Let's get them on there. Get yourself a couple of these here started so it'll stay in place while you start the rest of them. And as always, we don't tighten any of them down until all the screws are started. Now we're gonna take the small two and a half millimeter Allen headed screws with the small washer. We're gonna install these all along this perimeter into the carbon air dam. Now that we've got that in place, if you notice in the seam, there's a couple extra holes. Those holes are threaded and we are going to thread the four millimeter Allen bolt into that. That just helps secure the two halves together. Okay, now that we've got that, we're gonna go through and tighten down all the smaller ones here first and then come back and tighten down all the bigger four millimeter Allen ones. Then you're all done. You're ready to enjoy that splitter. There you guys have it. It's a fairly straightforward install. Add some aggressive styling to the front of your C8 as well as some real downforce. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time.